Uh, this is a vodcast on the difference between capital and revenue expenditure. Now you'll need this information for the IO1 and in particular the, de the diminishing balance depreciation question in determining the actual cost of the purchase of the asset and it may also pop up as an explained short answer question. Now if you look at your accounting syllabus and in particular page 33 you can see here that it has two out of the actual uh, five dot points on the explain objective. So as you can see here you may require to explain the process to record the purchase depreciation of disposable non-current assets and also you may have to explain the difference between a capital and revenue expenditure. And also, you'll, as I said, in the practical part of your question uh, for diminishing balance, you'll have to determine what type of expenditure it actually is, whether it's a revenue or, an, or a capital expenditure. So we're going to be going through now how to account for the different types. Now, if you look at the structure of what an accounting explain question actually looks like, according to the QCAA syllabus, explain has the following characteristics. Describing it in more detail. So first of all, you're going to have to define what each uh, accounting terminology is for that particular question. So if you've got one, for example, looking at explaining the difference between revenue and capital expenditure, you would have to define what revenue expenditure is and also what capital expenditure is. You have to provide relevant facts and also additional information. So therefore you must describe accounting concepts, provide facts, they could be limitations, implications, for example, on profitability, on efficiency, on liquidity of a business, or additional information could be in the form of advantages and disadvantages and limitations. So we are going to go through now looking at what explain actually means in respect of capital and revenue expenditure. Now, capital expenditure is a significant cost that increases the value of a non-current asset. So, capital expenditure is treated in accounting as an asset in the current accounting uh, records. For example, uh, a capital item will increase the purchase price of that item, and some examples could be installation costs and also additional optional extras, for example, freight and cartage in getting the asset to the place of business. It could be an expense that you've incurred which will allow it to increase the life of that asset or to majorly upgrade that asset. So for example, if you look at a beautiful uh, silver Commodore parked outside a car park, you may actually see a huge upgrade could be the installation of a new fuel cap for it because as we know, that would increase the, the price of that asset. However, a revenue expenditure is any cost relating that is incurred to maintain but not extend its useful life. So in other words, it's a cost incurred in maintaining that actual asset for the purpose of creating revenue. So if you look at a motor vehicle point of view, the uh, revenue expenditure was things such as insurance, repairs and maintenance, um, fuel, in those types of expenditure. Okay, so if you get one of these as an explain type question, what I've done for you is actually provided you with a breakdown of how you would actually answer it. And the key words are in bold and also in red. Now, as you know, with any type of short answer question, you will get marked on accounting terminology. And in respect of an explain type questions, uh, explaining the characteristics of that accounting term, along with accounting terminology, and also providing a more in-depth answer. So if you've, for capital expenditure, you would have this type of answer. One, you would actually have the following key words in there. Acquisition and installation of an asset whose life will extend over more than one accounting period. This expenditure is capitalized, so that is a very important word, and it is treated as an asset. So in other words, whatever that cost is will actually add to the cost of that asset, which is then depreciated over a period of time. You'll also need in your answer, capital expenditure results in an asset account being created that appears in the statement of financial position. Now, if you want extra points on your answer, you would have an asset being created, that being under PP&E or property, plant and equipment. 
and it is a non-current asset. So examples of capital expenditure, delivery, installation, modification, or insurance in getting that asset to the place of business. So your answer must provide those key points. Acquisition installation, life will extend over more than one accounting period. Expenditure is capitalized. It will result in a non-current account asset being created and that will appear in the statement of financial position and some examples. Revenue expenditure on the other hand, other expenditure which is used up in the current accounting period, so in other words only that accounting period, it doesn't extend the life of that asset to another accounting period and it is shown in the statement or profit or loss as an expense. Examples insurance, repairs and maintenance and fuel costs. So your, as you can see here, the structure of your answer must include those red important accounting terms and terminology for you to get the, the maximum marks. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little quiz here and determine whether the following expenses are either a revenue or in a capital expenditure. So first one is repairs and maintenance of a motor vehicle. So write down whether it is a revenue or a capital expense. Installation costs. Delivery costs incurred in getting the asset to the place of business. Any insurance. A new hubcap for a Commodore. New tyres for a Commodore. Or a new subwoofer for a motor vehicle. And here are the answers. The repairs and maintenance of a motor vehicle is classed as revenue expenditure, so therefore that expense will be seen in the statement of profit and loss. As we know, repairs and maintenance on any asset will be a month or a six monthly or a yearly expenditure in order to keep the upkeep of that asset used to generate revenue for the business. Any installation costs of an asset is a capital expenditure and therefore added to the cost of the asset in the statement of financial position. So if a new computer costs $2,000 and you have to get it delivered to your place of business which costs $100, the new capital price of that asset for depreciation purposes will be $2,100. Any delivery costs, as I mentioned before, will be a capital expense. Insurance will be a revenue expenditure and seen in the statement of profit or loss. A new hubcap, as we know, any hubcap on a Commodore will increase the cost of that Commodore over time. And so therefore, that will be a capital expenditure. However, new tyres is will be a revenue because you'll need tyres for the general upkeep of that motor vehicle to keep it in a safe and working condition. And a new subwoofer, as we know, that would increase any, any motor vehicle costs and will be treated as a capital expenditure.